In this video, we'll take a quick look at CloudWatch events in the AWS console. So here I'm logged into the AWS console and I'm just going to browse to CloudWatch. And under CloudWatch on the left hand side, I'm going to go to events. And under events, I'll click on rules. And this brings us to a landing page explaining that CloudWatch events is now event bridge. But what I'd like to just focus on here is CloudWatch events and, and the fact that if you've been using CloudWatch events, nothing significant is going to change here. So I'm going to go back to CloudWatch events and I can still create a rule the way that I always have here. So yeah, if you're used to CloudWatch events, there's not much that's actually going to change. But EventBridge introduces some new additional services that we can take advantage of. So the rule that we can create can be based on an event pattern. So what are some good examples of an event pattern? Well, maybe we want to monitor for the creation of new EC2 instances, or somebody taking a snapshot of an EC2 instance, or a state change of an EC2 instance, we could create an event pattern to match that. And there's a lot of other AWS services listed here that we can create event patterns for. So we can choose all sorts of different AWS services here and create an events pattern, or we can specify a schedule. So a scheduled rule is going to occur at some sort of fixed interval that we specify. And you can see some examples down here. But this is just going to recur over a fixed period of time at, at a rate that we specify here. So this is a rule that's going to be triggered at a specified time on a certain day of each week or month or maybe a specific time interval like every five minutes. And so I'm going to configure an event pattern instead and I'm just going to kind of stick with this EC2 example that I've started. So what I want to do here is potentially monitor for specific states of an EC2 instance. So is an EC2 instance pending? If so, somebody's probably just recently created a new EC2 instance. Or is it in the process of being terminated? Right? Or I can just stick with any state and so the event source will match all of those states. And then I can specify specific instances if I want to do so here. I'm not going to do that. So then when this event occurs, what do I want to have happen? Maybe I want a Lambda function to be invoked. So maybe every time a new EC2 instance is created, there's a Lambda function that goes and deletes it, or there's a Lambda function that goes and makes sure something has been configured on it or, or who knows what, but I could kick off all sorts of things here. It doesn't just have to be Lambda. Like I could send a notification with an SNS topic. I could place a message into an SQS queue. I could drop something into a Kinesis stream, right? So there's a lot of different possible targets that I could instantiate at this point. But yeah, if I've got a Lambda function written, I could call upon that here. And then every time that event occurs, that Lambda function will be invoked. Now, what I will also say is for the purposes of the security specialty exam, you don't need to know all of these event sources that can be matched or the services that can be matched or all of the different services that can be invoked by CloudWatch events. You don't have to have it memorized down to that level. So as this relates to security, what we really want to understand is we have this ability to set up rules that are going to be triggered by certain events, like somebody creating an EC2 instance or somebody deleting the contents of an S3 bucket. Who knows what it might be? But in any case, we have the ability to instantiate these sorts of targets and respond to scenarios and events that occur automatically. So these things can be happening when we're asleep. These things can be happening when we're not paying attention, we don't have to have any kind of manual intervention to respond. Right? So for example, if somebody deletes a bucket in S3, I may want to trigger a Lambda function. I may want to trigger an SNS topic and have it send text messages to a bunch of people to let us know that a bucket is being deleted. 
And that's really the purpose of CloudWatch events from the security perspective.